straight professional victories, growing and learning with his trade. Javier Munez taken out in the first round, March of 78. This one of 13 knockouts in Leonard's professional career. His one-round KO of Daniel Gonzalez of Argentina was surprising, but proof that he is learning leverage and getting stronger. And in going 10 rounds for a decision over Adolfo Viruet last month, he showed the discipline of pace and became the first man to put Viruet on the floor. Sugar Ray Leonard there stands 5, 10 and a half, and he's going to give away reach, height, and weight today as he fights a bona fide middleweight because Geraldo came in at 160 pounds and Sugar Ray weighed in today at 153, but he weighed in with his jewelry and his clothes on. So we fixed. But Geraldo has exactly, and we measured it to make sure, exactly four inches advantage in the reach. That can be very important. A question of speed, however, durability, hunger, all of those factors, well, you never know about them, do you? Because they only come out as the fight wears on. And now you have the conference in the center of the ring. The referee today will be Peter Geruso from New Orleans. The judges are Charlie Joseph and Maxi Duxon. They are also from New Orleans. The people in the corner for Sugar Ray Leonard will be his manager, Angelo Dundee, Dave Jacobs, the trainer, and Jenks Morton. For Geraldo, Lupe Sanchez, Francisco Sanchez, and Manuel Conseco. It is a round by round. There is a mandatory eight count rule. The gloves are eight ounces. And here we go. Round number one scheduled for 10. Sugar Ray with a record of 22 win, uh, 21 wins and no losses. Geraldo with a record of 42 wins and 14 losses. But Geraldo has shown some history in the past of being stopped early in the fight. Immediately obvious, the advantage in size for Geraldo. Marcos Geraldo lives in Mexico City, came out of Weymouth in Sonora, Mexico. Sugar Ray, of course, from Palmer Park, Maryland. These two men have had one common opponent. That would be Armando Muniz, the fine boxer and fine gentleman from Los Angeles. Marcos fought him in back in 74 when uh, Muniz was pretty much in his prime and took a 10-round decision. Sugar Ray stopped Armando in December of last year. I might mention early on here that Sugar Ray's older brother Roger is now out of the Air Force at his eighth professional fight and won by KO. It was scheduled for six. Sugar looking for the hole. And that time didn't find it. You can be sure that he's aware of the history of Geraldo of going early. That overhand right caught Geraldo, but it was a little high on the side of the head. Some question about whether or not Geraldo can take a good punch on the jaw. Good left hand by Sugar Ray. Very quick, very hard to hit. Just missed with that right. Geraldo now. This is what Geraldo likes to do. Uh, anytime he gets Sugar Ray pinned on the ropes, it's going to be his ballpark because he lets loose with a fusillade of punches. And he's a, he gets his man in on the rope. He can really bang away. Sugar Ray getting uh, that right hand home to the side of the head. Geraldo responds with a little dance of his own. And Sugar has tagged him now with a couple of good solid left jabs, snapping his head back. Sugar Ray Leonard and White, Marcos Geraldo in the dark blue or dark trunks. And the Leonard left finds it. Less than a half a minute to go now in the first round. Leonard got there with a good left hook. Geraldo showboating a little bit, sticks out his chin at Sugar Ray. Coming down from 10 seconds now to the end of round number one. This may turn out to be a pretty good fight. Scheduled for 10, Sugar Ray Leonard in the white trunks against Marcos Geraldo of Mexico City. He holds the Mexican and the California middleweight titles. Be George Cooper for the California version. He defeated... Uh, Macias for the Mexican middleweight title. Macias in a preliminary fight earlier today was a winner. Keith Jackson at ringside here in Baton Rouge. And we do have a house. Now it's said to be around 12,000 people.
Between rounds, Angelo Dundee commented to Sugar Ray, says next time he sticks that chin out there, knock it off. Easier said than done, I reckon. So far, Leonard has been the one to force all of the fighting. Geraldo has shown no particular move toward Leonard. by Sugar Ray. He's trying to find the point of that chin. A little more than halfway through the second round. The left hook got there. Geraldo now charges into Leonard and Sugar Ray escapes. Marcus apparently definitely intends to get involved in a little show business himself. Both rounds here, he's had his shuffle. <laughs> Fight is being telecast live back to Mexico. Home folks are watching him. There's a good right hand to the body by Geraldo. A ripping right hand. Sugar Ray comes right back with the left right, and the right was solid on the side of the head. Less than a half minute to go. Second round. Again, Sugar Ray gets out of there. Aldo stalking him. Ten seconds. Going round two. out of his corner. That jacks up the crowd. They start roaring. What a startle Geraldo. He held his composure. This is by far the biggest man that Sugar Ray Leonard has met in his professional career. Best we can determine the most dangerous. Peter is getting a little noise. Twice he's... That's a good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard. Now on the ropes, Geraldo trying to hold him there. And Sugar ties him up and gets out of it. Geraldo nods his head at him. Geraldo dug a left hook to the side of the head of Sugar Ray Leonard. In the corner. And Sugar ties him up. Good right hand. Leonard wobbled by the right hand thrown by Geraldo. That hurt him. It's a good right hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Back around the ear. Quicker fighter able to get off twice on the ropes, but he takes a left right to the head as Geraldo now tries to dig to the body. There's another right hand by Geraldo. The Mexican middleweight champion starting to come on. Sugar Ray Leonard with a left and two rights to the side of the head. The crowd roaring. Leonard just rips him with a right hand, but Geraldo keeps coming. Less than a half minute to go in a good round for Geraldo. Though Leonard has landed more punches. 
I think one thing that Geraldo may well have done here in this third round, he may have established a degree of respect. Good left and right by Sugar Ray, both of them on the button. Third round is over. There's the right hand by Geraldo in the third round that rattles Sugar Ray Leonard. And we go now live to the fourth round. Geraldo, with 24 KOs in his career, since he moved into the middleweight class to stay, he has scored seven successive knockouts. And he has proven his durability here as he was really ripped a couple of times in that third round by Sugar Ray Leonard, especially a left-right that landed flush on the jaw at the closing seconds of the third round, and all he did was dance. That's a hard left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard. The water's flying off the hair of Geraldo. He stays in his pursuit of Leonard. In the normal progression of a career, the fight usually get a little tougher and a little tougher for a growing boxer, and that's what Angelo Dundee has been doing with Sugar Ray Leonard, and so far this has been a blistering bout. There again is a good stiff left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. One thing he does not want to do is get in a position standing flat-footed against this big guy. We'd like to reload our local stations along the line, but at the end of this round, we'll be taking a station break for our local station. Coming up on the halfway point, round number four. Neither man really showing any marks yet. Leonard keeps popping that left hand into the face of Geraldo. Giving up about three inches in height, maybe three and a half, and four inches in reach. And as best we can figure out, since Leonard was weighed in this morning with his clothes on, he's giving up at least eight pounds in weight. Hard right hand flipped into the body by Leonard. Leonard just missed that hard right, hooked him behind the head with it. Jacobs, the trainer for Leonard, warning him. Stay on the move. There's the hard right hand to the side of the head. Geraldo comes digging back to the body. Leonard hooks him with the left. Off the side of the head. This is a pretty good sized opportunity for Geraldo. If he should get away here and be the first man to beat Sugar Ray Leonard, I'll tell you right now, he'd be in a pretty happy merchandising situation, wouldn't he? End of round number four coming up. We'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local station. Both miss. One picked off, the other was short. That left got Leonard. And Leonard retaliates with a hard left hook that staggers Geraldo for a moment. He's a little off balance, however. Left that finds him, another left that finds him, and the right finds him, and the left finds him. Sugar right clearly the quicker of the two men. There's a hard right and a hard left by Sugar Ray Leonard. Low suspicions that people had about whether or not Geraldo's chin would hold up to Sugar Ray Leonard. So far it has. That right hand got him. Up and on the left eye. Well, that's called sticking him. And he loaded up that time for a left right. And both punches landed. The first two, the third was partially blocked. Now in the corner. This is not where Sugar Ray Leonard wants to be. So far, Geraldo hasn't hit him in the corner. He has not landed a blow. Both of them taunting each other. A little less than a minute to go now in round five. Leonard got a little wild there and missed. 
tries to tie up Geraldo. Referee took one to the left shoulder that time. Geruso got in there and Geraldo winged him. Right back in the corner again at 25 seconds. Now he moves up. There's that left finding its target. Ten seconds. At the end of this round, they're halfway through. Ten rounder, Sugar Ray Leonard in the white trunks, Marcos Geraldo in the dark trunks. Round by round scoring here, and I've got a cutout going so far on my school card for Sugar Ray Leonard. But it has been a bristler, I'll tell you that. Geraldo, the Mexican middleweight champion, California State middleweight champion. He is handled by Lupe Sanchez, who incidentally handles Rafino Cuevas, who is the WBA welterweight champion. And as we told you at the outset, Angelo Dundee has an agreement in principle for Sugar Ray Leonard to meet Wilfredo Benitez for the WBC welterweight title in November of this year. The Central Flex in Baton Rouge. The estimated crowd right around 12,000. Capacity. in there by uh, Sugar Ray threw it overhand there's Angelo Dundee in the lower right hand corner sitting in Sugar Ray's corner Dave Jacobs is the man who trains Sugar Ray Angelo is the manager there again the left hand with authority finding the head of Geraldo Neither fighter has been down. Sugar Ray was rattled a little bit back in the third round by a right hand from Geraldo. Geraldo has been shaken a couple of times by left hooks and one right. Three times he has been shaken by Leonard. But neither man has been down. And neither man really shows any wear and tear so far. We come up on a minute to go in round number six. seconds to go in round six. This has been the quietest round of the fight. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven, baby. Right. Come here. Okay. Good. Bumping heads. You Watch walk, it. You're walking slowly. Now. Get your head underneath his. Jimmy. Late in the round. Come on, take a sucker shot out of his mother. Don't see any real marks on either man as we go now to round number seven. Geraldo at 6'1, Sugar Ray 5'10 and a half. Geraldo weighed in at 160, Sugar Ray weighed in 153, including some jewelry hanging around his neck and all of his clothes. The advantages to Geraldo in reach are four inches. But so far, oh, good right hand. 
That shook Geraldo as Leonard brought the right hand over the top and landed it flush on the jaw. His eyes blink. Now he gets in there with a pretty good left, right, and a right, and left by Geraldo. Those may have, that may have been the best series of punches that Geraldo has landed in the entire fight right there. Big guy from Mexico City, just a little bit late with his punch. Just a little bit off his target. Of course, because of the elusiveness of Sugar Ray Leonard. He's a very difficult fellow to find. Most of that wasted on the arms. And well, there's the right hand, the right hand lead, and it caught Geraldo flush. There's another hard right. And another one. And a hard left hook. Now Geraldo gives ground. He backs up. And that combination of hard lefts and rights to the head, and particularly the right hand lead, getting to the target. Pace is so important. Last time we saw, saw Sugar Ray in Las Vegas against Adolfo Virouette, he showed good discipline and was able to pace himself well through 10 rounds against a tough opponent. This is round number seven. And that left hook on the side of the head. That series of hard right hands back in the middle of this round jarred Geraldo considerably. Satisfied with the way the fight's going so far. And so far, I see it as a shutout. Leonard missing, got a little wild with a right hand lead as we pass. 30 seconds to go in this round as the left hook just a little bit of it picked off by Geraldo with his right hand up around his chin. Sugar Ray giving up some of the ring to him. Comes back with that quick left and the hard right. There's the shuffle. Crowd roars. And we finish seven rounds here in Baton Rouge. We oh, have. Yeah. He wants an Anheuser Busch natural. Rule. This is round number eight. Sugar Ray Leonard in the white and Marcos Geraldo in the dark trunks. The Mexican middleweight champion. The tallest, rangiest, and biggest man that Sugar Ray Leonard has fought in his professional career. And he's looking for his 22nd consecutive victory here today with the promise of a title bout from Wilfredo Benitez, the WBC welterweight champion in November this year. I tell you that Tommy Hearns scored a TKO victory in the seventh round over Harold Weston Jr. today. Weston, uh, we saw him earlier this year in San Juan lose to uh, Benitez. That title bout. Crowd applauds the sportsmanship, Sugar Ray. Winding up a little bit, but did not attempt to throw a punch when Geraldo was off balance. It's the quickness of Leonard, speed of foot as well as hand that has given him the edge so far. I have him winning all seven rounds that we have had. Back in the third round, when Geraldo landed a good solid right hand, have we seen any reflection of concern on the part of Leonard? That really wasn't very noticeable as he came right back with a volley of his own. Since that time, it's been this kind of pursuit. Every once in a while, Leonard would stop and rip Geraldo. Scored heavily with right hand leads. He scored very well with a whistling left hook. Brush on the jaw. Well, I talk about a uh, weak chin of Geraldo. I'm not so sure that uh, he <laughs> doesn't appear to be very weak to me. We know Leonard could punch because he's knocked out 13 people in 21 fights. having a dick 
seconds of a time hitting Leonard. Just that much off target each time. He gets in a position to use some leverage. Ten seconds to go. Round eight. Been a good show by Sugar Ray Leonard so far. Geraldo unable to really reach him. I would say it's been a good contest for Leonard, but so far I've seen no evidence that Geraldo is going to be able to reach him. His 24 knockouts, seven in a row since he became a solid middleweight and decided to stay in that class. But he has not been able to land anything of substance except for the one punch back in the third round on Leonard. And he has absorbed some of Sugar Ray's best stuff. Quick hands. And quick feet. And you fight as much with your feet as you do your hands. Especially at this point. Good pace by Leonard so far through the fight. The last 40 seconds or so of each round, he's accelerated it. Of course, that's when the judges are taking their pencils in hand to mark the card. Isn't it? All the officials from the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, all out of New Orleans, the referee Peter Caruso, Charlotte Joseph, and Maxi Dukeson. Again with that right left. Hard whip right by Leonard. He checked off the left hand thrown out there by Geraldo and just nailed it with a right hand, but Big guy from Mexico City just shook it off. Thirty seconds to go in round nine. See Geraldo just missing, just a little short, and paying the price for it. And there's a little trickle of blood out of the corner of the right eye. Geraldo is bleeding a little bit from the corner of the right eye. Sugar Ray Leonard going to his corner, but let's look across the ring here as Lupe Sanchez and Francisco Sanchez work on Marcos Geraldo, who took a ripping in the last 20 seconds of the ninth round. I've still got Leonard pitching a shutout here today, but Geraldo is hanging right in there. As we mentioned earlier, Sanchez is the man who handles Cuevas, who holds the WBA title. Sugar Ray's off the stool early, waving to the crowd. Round 10 coming up. Crowd reacting to him from the moment he stepped foot in the building. The only way Geraldo gets a decision out of this fight is to knock him out. Sugar Ray walking around out there saying, come on, let's go. And of course, that's show business right there. Now the mouthpiece is in place and Geraldo is ready. Sugar Ray comes out, hooks him with the left hand in the opening seconds of the 10th round. Now Sugar Ray may try to take him out. He apparently seems very fresh. He has not been marked much in this fight. He's landed some of his best artillery. Marco Serraldo has taken it and worn it, and he still can't catch Sugar Ray. Just a little bit short, just a little bit shy throughout the entire fight. There's a right hand to the jaw of Leonard. Not much on it. There's another right hand that sneaks in. 
little bit of a cut in the corner of the right eye of Geraldo. Another right hand. Another right hand. Leonard wobbles around a little bit. Does a little act and uh, promptly takes a left right in the face. So Geraldo is still coming. Still trying. Still game. Pretty good trickle of blood now coming down from the cut outside corner of the right eye. As Leonard, having absorbed a couple of rights and lefts, comes back now and punishes Geraldo. That's a good right hand by Geraldo. And that snapped Leonard's head around and he backed away from the corner. There's that left hook again right on the jaw. Been a good fight as they tumble into the ropes right above it. Been a good fight, but it's been on Leonard. Geraldo wobbled as he came in. Sugar Ray caught him flush. in the fight. As I left, he doubled it up and got them both home. There's the shuffle, the crowd roars, Geraldo backs up, Leonard stays after him, and we've got 10 seconds to go in the fight. Fight's over. Ten rounder. Good fight. Respect by both men for each other. Marcos Geraldo of Mexico City and Sugar Ray Leonard from Palmer Park, Maryland. And Sugar Ray looking for, and I think he has, his 22nd straight victory. Now here is Frank Gifford. The clubs have already been taken off the two fighters. They're both in the center of the ring. Sugar Ray has had a workout. No question about it. And I don't mean to presume any decision, but I think it was quite clear to you as well as to those here that he was in control of the fight from the first round on. And only one time did he appear stung, and that was in the third round on the right hand. Got there. Here's the decision. Referee Maxi Dusen calls it six rounds for Leonard, one even, three for Geraldo. Judge Charlie Joseph calls it six rounds, Leonard, one even, three for Geraldo. <laughs> Referee Peter Tommaso calls it seven rounds, Leonard, one even, two for Geraldo. The winner by unanimous decision, Sugar Ray Leonard. That's 22 in a row for Sugar Ray. The executive producer.